So the next few videos are going to be focused on CSS layout. So we're pretty much done, at least for now, with coloring and text and all of the cool features we can do with them. But now we're going to actually go through and start using our uh, skills with different, well, new skills that we can actually put together and create really, really nice, awesome websites. So layout is probably one of the most powerful tools that you can use in CSS and can completely change the way your website looks. But before we move on, we need to learn a little bit of theory behind how CSS works. So there's this concept in CSS called the box model, and it's pretty much the, the um, what happens is every single element is surrounded by an invisible box. Now this box has different layers, which we're going to explain in the next video, but all of these boxes are touching together. They're kind of connected. And what you can do is actually change the shapes of these boxes and change the shapes of the layers in order to move things around and position them on a page in a way that makes the website look much better. Now, obviously, this isn't the only way of shaping your website. There are so many different methods, Flexbox and Grid, and we're all going to cover them later in this course. But for now, this is the basic kind of layout features that you need to use so that you can move on and start using some of the most complex features. So this is kind of what that invisible box looks like. So at the center is where your content is. Now, I'm going to explain this in just a second, all of these little terms, padding, border, and margin. Um, but you can see that the center contains the content, but then the other three layers are something completely unknown. And we're going to be going through and explaining what those do. But for now, just understand that you have the content on the center, but then there's this invisible box around it that is split up into three layers. So let's go over the first one, which is the padding. Now, the padding represents the space between the content and the border of the content. Now, you can see up in this model, we have this padding section, and then we have a border. So pretty much what the border does is it separates the content and the padding from the margin. But pretty much, let's just assume for now that the margin kind of moves things around and it doesn't actually move the content around. What padding is supposed to do is it's basically supposed to give more room around the content itself. It's not really meant to move the content around. So it'll make some more sense when I go over margin if you don't understand it now. But let's move on to the next layer. The border is pretty much the divide or the separation line between the content, the padding and the margin. So borders can be styled and changed and by default, they're invisible, but we can actually go through and change how they look, which we're going to be going through uh, in a couple videos time. So the border doesn't actually create any spacing or anything itself unless you want it to. But pretty much what the border is supposed to be is kind of that division line. So the last uh, layer that I want to talk about is the margin. So just like how the padding is supposed to give spacing or well padding around the content, the margin is supposed to move the content around and give it space between other elements. So while the padding is used for internal space, the margin is used for external space and is made so that to give room and spacing around external elements. So for example, if you have a, an image and then a, some text under it, you can use the margin of the text to kind of push it down from the image, whereas the padding would just kind of make internal space. Now, although it's not the best example, as we go on and start using it, you'll get this a lot more if you don't already. All right, so that's pretty much it for the box model. It's a very, very simple concept, but it can be really used to a very high potential, and it does contain a lot of features that we're going to be going over in the next few videos. All right, let's move on.